So, you want to know the truth about goblins? You can't handle the truth! Hey all, J-Town here. Today I'm bringing you the recut version of the Truth About Goblins video I did several months ago. In this video I talked about all the different forms of rich goblins and how to farm them for gold and different things like that. But with the update, some of those forms were removed uh, until a more stable, better version of those can be brought back to us. So what I've left you with are the, the Guild Goblin quests, right? The daily things you should be doing every day, how to do them, uh, what they give you, uh, and how to do them more efficiently. So I hope you enjoy that. If you've watched any of my content or the higher standards content and you find that the information has been helpful to you, consider hitting that subscribe button. It'll really help our channels grow a lot and it'll help overall exposure of the game grow. Notice a lot more views and subscriptions. You do the math. And also, if you enjoyed playing the game as a whole, just head on over to Google Play or the uh, iOS Apple App Store and leave a review on it. Maybe talk about what the best feature of the game is, your favorite thing to do. But without further ado, let's get into it. Goblin managers you find out in the field. You need to kill them for your guild quests. You will get a reward for completing those guild quests. But the biggest reason to kill those goblins is to get these guild bonus points and to complete your guild quests for even more guild bonus points. Those bonuses can then be spent by your guild leadership in order to give a gold bonus for an hour at a time. And it is vital that you do this for yourself and for your guild. Now if you look at the guild quest under the guild section, your menu, guild, guild quests, personal quests, you need to kill three goblin managers in each of the zones where they exist. Once you kill the three, you get these rewards. But the guild bonus points and the diamonds, that's what you're really going for. Now that's your personal quest. There's a larger overarching quest for your entire guild as a whole, to where your entire guild needs to get 60 kills on goblin managers in those same zones. Once that 60 is reached, you'll get these amounts here. More gold, a much more gold bonus points, and more of the guild coin currency. Now. Here's where it gets interesting. Thanks to some uh, research and finding out by different members of the community, especially in Icebreakers over on Server 4. Others may have known this. Um, but when these are completed, these guild level quests, it's not only just for the guild one time. Say this Gehenna Manager quest right here. We got 60 out of 60. That will be once for every single person who is online. It counts it as a completion for, say if I'm online, it counts me completing the guild quest, the squad members I'm with, everybody else online. So that's, if 20 people are online in your guild, it counts as 20 people completing that guild quest. And that, my friends, is how you're gonna fill up those bonus points for the boosts, quickly. But wait, there's more. In addition to it counting the completion of the guild quest for every single member of the guild who is online at the time of completion, you can also have a way to make it more efficient in killing the goblins so you don't have to do as many. Let me show you. Here I am by myself. I'm going over here. I'm going to kill a boss uh, goblin manager out in Fenrir's Fang. So I'll go look at the totals, look at the quests, guild quests, Fenrir's Fang, 9 out of 60. Obviously, I will kill the one goblin by myself. Okay, goblin down. Go back and take a look at our totals. Guild, quests, guild quests. 10 out of 60. One goblin, one kill. But that's not how it works. See, it didn't go up to 10 because I killed a goblin. It went up to 10 because one member of the guild killed a goblin. What happens when we bring a squad of three to kill the same goblin? So here I am with my squad of three. We're gonna fight a similar goblin in the same area of Fenrir's Fang, except this time in a party of three. 12 seconds later. All right, now let's check our guild quests. 
As you can see, the quest is now 13 out of 60. Because it didn't count three goblins getting killed, it only counted one goblin getting killed. What it did count was three guild members, each killing a guild goblin. If you found this information helpful, please like and subscribe, and feel free to share this video with anybody else you know that plays Summoner's Glory so they can get their guild goblins done more efficiently as well. If you're new and would like to start playing this Summoner's Glory with me, uh, you can download the game on Android, Apple, or an APK for your emulator on PC. The links are in the description below, as well as the Discord links for where I play on servers 1 and 4. Alright, hope to see you in game.